promised that I'm back this week with another cake decorating video tutorial for you. Now for this week's video tutorial I thought wouldn't it be fun to do something around the theme of rainbows. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this 3D cloud cake with a rainbow on top. Okay. Let's get started. So I've got the start of my cake here. I've baked two six inch round cakes. So the first cake that I've got is just one inch in height and the second cake I've made two inches in height. Now this one I've just trimmed down and just made it level and this is gonna be the rainbow. Now for this one, I'm just gonna set this aside for a minute because this is gonna help us make our cloud. I then baked an eight inch square cake. I've cut this into two halves and each one measures seven inches by four inches. So we've just got two inches in height once they're stacked on top of each other. Now for the six inch cake here that I've got, this one hasn't been leveled off. Now in this bowl, I've just got all my cutoffs. All I'm gonna do is crumble all of this along with my six inch cake into my bowl. Now, once this has all been crumpled down, I will be adding in some vanilla buttercream. I'm gonna be using this to create some balls that are gonna give me the shape of my cloud. Okay, so once that's all been crumbled down, I'm just gonna set that to one side for a second and work on my rainbow. Take the six inch cake that I've leveled off, a round circle cutter, and this one just measures around one and a half inches across. And I'm gonna place that in the center of my cake. Cut out that middle. Now you can use this center section and just crumble that into the bowl with the rest of your crumbs. And just cut my circle cake directly in half. When I put those together, that is gonna give me the shape of my rainbow. Now in this bowl, I've just got some vanilla buttercream and I will put a link in the description below if you want the recipe that I use to make this. Now I'm just gonna start by separating my two rainbow sections and just put in some buttercream on the inside of that just to sandwich the two together so it's easier to pick up. Now, when I make cakes, I usually cover my boards first and then add the cakes to them once they're done. But for this one, because it is gonna be a slightly awkward shape and I don't wanna pick it up once I've made it, I'm gonna prepare my cake actually on the finished board. And once the cake is done, I can then cover around the outside. So I'm just using a 13 inch drum board and this one just measures around a centimeter in height. Pop a small amount of buttercream to stick down my first cake, which is gonna be one of my rectangles, just to sandwich the two halves together. Now place my rainbow on the top. Now I'm not gonna secure this in place yet because I am gonna work on the clouds on the bottom first. But one thing I am gonna do is just mark on my cake where my rainbow is sitting. So if we take that off, you can just see we've got these two squares outlined. Now, once we've got those, I'm just gonna pop that to one side for a few seconds, just while we cover my rainbow in buttercream. The only part that I'm not gonna cover in buttercream are the two bottoms. These will be matching up to the cloud cake. So I'm just giving my rainbow a quick prom coat. I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge just until that buttercream has hardened slightly so that we can add another coat. So the next thing to do is pair my cake crumb mixture. Now all I'm doing is just adding small amounts of buttercream at a time just until it all combines. Once you get a mixture that starts to resemble a cookie dough and all of your cake crumbs are coated in a buttercream, it's ready to use because you can just mold it into shapes. Now you may have seen this on a much smaller scale if you've seen my Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Cake where we created small fondant 3D clouds. Take some lumps of my cake mixture and just roll those, placing those around my board. Now you want them in different sizes. So you want some quite large ones that are gonna come up slightly larger than your cake. And I'm also gonna make some smaller balls. I'm gonna start by rounding off some of those rectangle edges and also just cutting in to my cake. So you just want the balls going all the way around the edge. So we start to get this fluffy cloud effect. Now where some of your balls are, you may wanna just 
keep cutting in some of these I'm just making them slightly smaller and just placing another one on the top so we've got larger ones which are around three inches in height so I've got a few of those dotted around and then they're just getting progressively smaller and I've piled some of those balls up so that when we cover them in icing we just get that nice fluffy cloud effect all I'm going to do in the center just because I don't want it to look too flat is just use some of that cake mixture and just create a little dome effect just to join the two pieces together and just on that corner edge but making sure that we don't go over that rectangle so there we have the star of our cloud now the next thing that I want to do is just pop it in the fridge just for those cake balls to firm up slightly but before we do that I'm just going to cover the exposed cake in the center in a thin layer of buttercream just so it doesn't dry out once it's in the fridge now the reason that I haven't covered the smaller balls in a lot of buttercream is just because there is already quite a lot of buttercream inside the balls holding them together so once they come out of the fridge we'll be just putting one more coating on before we cover them in our white fondant once my cake has come out of the fridge you cover this in a coating of buttercream so it's ready for our fondant i'm gonna get that as smooth as possible and as you've probably seen on some of my videos before when there's a curved shape or something that is not quite as flat then i usually go in with my flexi smoother just to smooth that out but in this case the flexi smoother is quite large so i've just taken a piece of plastic pack Packaging and made my own smaller smoother so this one is just around two and a half inches by an inch and I'm just going to use that just over the top of those balls just to smooth out that buttercream okay so now our cloud has this layer of buttercream it's now ready to cover with our white fondant now there are still some lumps on there but the reason that I've decided to use buttercream over ganache is that once I put that fondant over I can smooth it out with my hands and get rid of any of those areas that I haven't been able to smooth out with the small smoother so I'm just using one kilo of white icing I'm going to roll this out until it's around three millimeters in thickness I'm just going to go in with a pin and just get rid of any air bubbles and also just run over the top with my paddle smoother bring back in my cake and drape this over the top now I don't want to push down over the whole cake straight away as I want to lift and push into those gaps that have been created by our cake balls pushing that icing in so around the bottom I'm just lifting up and pushing that in so that I can push my fingers against that bottom to get it as close to that underside as I can. So once you're happy that it's taking shape, I'm just going to cut off some of the excess, but just leave around a centimetre at the bottom and just use my knife to go in and just push that icing in place, just rounding off that bottom. So I'm just cutting a piece at a time. So there we have the start of our 3D cloud cake. Now just take a small amount of shadow gray petal dust. Now I'm gonna make sure that I dust off any excess. I'm just gonna lightly run this up bottom edges. I'm gonna add a small amount of shadow. I can then cover the silver part of my board with blue to make my cloud look like it's in the sky. Now it's quite an awkward shape around the board so I'm just going to take a piece of parchment paper and on this one I've just cut out a curved shape as this is the rough curve of my cloud. I'm then going to take this and just lightly wiggle it underneath the edge of my cake. Now once I've gone in just a few millimetres I'm just going to take a pencil and just draw on the rough outline just really carefully slide this back out and cut this out as a template roll out some of my blue icing and just use that parchment paper as a guide to cut the edge so i'm just going to curve it round slightly i can then use my craft knife and just follow that line as a guide now i'm going to add a small amount of water just onto my cake board just so that that fondant will stick and I've also just popped 
a pin into the side of my cake, which I will remove, but this is just as a guide. So I'm just gonna lift this up to try and lay that into place. In that against my cake and you might just need to go in with your thumb and just push some of those all the way into the gap now i'm just going to run around the edge of my cake board and just trim off any excess so there we have the first half of our board covered and the next stage is to do the other half now if there are any pieces you can't quite get to i'm just going to pop another piece of parchment paper in do for my board is just finish it off with a ribbon around the edge it's then time to work on the rainbow on the top okay so I've taken my crumb coated rainbow out of the fridge and it's now time to give it another coating just to smooth it off so that it's ready to add our fondant so I'm just going to take my metal scraper to smooth off the inside of our rainbow I can then go in with my buttercream on the sides and on the top, just add in another layer and again, just smoothing that down. So there we have the shape of our rainbow. Now I'm gonna pop this back in the fridge for around 10 minutes, just for that last coating of buttercream, just to firm up so it's ready to add our rainbow colors. I've removed my rainbow cake from the fridge and I just have my fondant here. So I've got a red, a green, a yellow, a blue, a purple, and an orange. Now I'm gonna start with the underneath and then the top. So I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper and just just lie it down so that it's not going to ruin the buttercream on the back. Now the colour that I'm going to put underneath is my purple. So I'm just going to roll this out. I'm just going to measure the depth of my rainbow. So it measures six centimetres and just pop that on the inside. Just smooth that down. Now with the excess on the edge I'm just going to use my craft knife and just cut all the way down. Now I'm just going to pop the extra purple just to one side while I do exactly the same to the red for the top. Now this one is a bit longer so I'm just going to take this one and just roll that up slightly. It's a lot easier to pick up. I can then bring in my rainbow and just unroll that along the top. Using my paddle smoother I'm just going to go in and smooth that against my cake. Now once the top and bottom has been popped on I'm just going to turn this so that it's the right way up. Now the next thing to do is cut out the stripes for the front so the width of the bottom is five centimeters so that means I just need to divide that by my six colors so I'm going to roll these out into long thin lengths and cut each one around 0.8 centimeters wide now I'm going to place the colors next to each other just to check finished width Okay, so once we've got our two strips of rainbow colors and each one is measuring five centimeters across, I'm gonna bring back in my rainbow, add on just a small amount of water that I've mixed with some icing sugar just to make it nice and sticky. Pick up my first colors, apply this, going around in a curve, just joining up that top with the side, and then add my orange, and go through all of my colors. Smooth those down with my flexi smoother just to make sure they're all in place and all nicely pushed together. So once we've done one side, I'm just gonna pop on another piece of parchment paper. I'm just gonna flip that over and I want to do exactly the same on the other side. So here we've got the 3D rainbow, which is now ready to add to my clouds. So I'm just gonna take a small amount of buttercream and just pop that on my cake, just in those gaps that we left. Carefully lift up my rainbow, just pop that into place. 
Now, the last thing that I'm gonna to do to finish off the cake is make some stars. I've just got some gray fondant and I'm gonna roll this out and then using some different size star cutters. So I've got some plunger cutters and some normal cutters. I've just got some edible silver luster dust and I'm just dusting this onto my stars just to give them a bit of a shimmer. And once they've all been colored, they're now ready to add to the cake. So just using some edible glue, stick a few of those in place. So here we have the finished cake with this 3D fluffy cloud on the bottom and this really colorful rainbow on the top. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and would enjoy making your own version of this cake. If you have, then don't forget to give this video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to head over to the video section on the Cakes Fun Ends YouTube channel. So until next time, bye.